also today me and Stephanie are going to take you guys out on Hunting Island in Beaufort, South Carolina, one of the state park areas. We love to come to this area. We love to see the lighthouse and climb it every now and then and just explore the beach. And we just wanted to take you for a beach walk with us down this beautiful beach in Beaufort, South Carolina and see what we can find. Let's go. Pretty one. Really pretty. Cute. Nobody's home. So he's a keeper. Along with a couple jingles. A little handful here you guys can see some jingles some olives several augers pretty little whelk and a drill shell some cute finds put them in my little container a little hunting island container. you see the pretty view of the lighthouse from here if you climb it you'll be able to see what kind of view you can see over all the trees it's really pretty So we're down here around the water's edge and we can see that there is not many shells down here to look through and most of the stuff we found up in the shell rakes about midways of the beach right up past the tidal pools that's out here on Hunting Island. So we're just going to continue to look, see what all we end up by the end of the day. Hunt is on. Pretty black olive shell, a little worn, couple little holes in it, but South Carolina state shell, guys. All right, and got a couple other little small things. Got a piece of coral, it's kind of orange in color, and a baby's ear, and a baby's foot, what I call it, but it's really a jingle shell or mermaid scale. And then this little thing, not sure what this is. I don't know if this is a bubble shell or some type of cowrie. I hope it's coming in focus so you guys can see it and maybe give us an ID on it. I've got a few of those in our collection, but I'm not really sure exactly what they are. We don't find them a lot in South Carolina. Not in the, on these beaches of South Carolina. Anyway. Jingle shell. Check out this baby's ear, I see. That one's pretty and big. Gorgeous. Woohoo, love those.
shark eye shell. Oh, it's a little busted up. That's the most whole one we found out here today, though. And I'm going to leave it for somebody else to find. We have plenty of shells. Coloration, I almost thought he was dead, but when I stopped and looked, I can actually see his little tiny legs moving a little bit. That's cool. And the live sand dollars are illegal to keep here, guys. So if you see one of these guys, just leave them alone and let them go on about their business. Yep, you can see he's back in there helping with the erosion. If you come to Hunting Island, if you go out in the water, especially at low tide like it is right now, you're very likely to find those sand dollars. You'll, there's tons of them out here usually. You'll feel them with your feet. They'll feel like a little bump on the ground. And like he said, it is illegal to take them. So no live shells, please. Um, that's just, I think that's a common law on all beaches now. Another one right up the beach. You can see what he looks like. He's already stiff, so he's flattened out on the back. But you see this bell shape. Normally, he's like a ball. That's why they call him the cannonball jellyfish. And you can see their tentacles down in there. These don't um, sting, or if they do sting, it's not enough where humans can tell it. I see a little area right here that I would recommend people, like if they're shark tooth hunting and things like that on the beach, people ask us all the time, and it's really kind of hard to explain where you look. Of course, you see right here on this ground, if I will show you, there's really not anything right here, just beautiful sand. So of course, this isn't really where you would look. You would want to look where there's shells. And there's another one of these little jellyfish right here as we're passing by. But if you see up the beach, there's some tide pools and mm -hmm. it kind of like streams out into little places like these so if you find one of these this is the area like you would look up right here where the stream has come down and kind of washed out some of the sand where you can see in the shells i haven't really seen any fishermen out here today but usually a lot of times on hunting island you come out here there'll be people on these jetties there's some further down the beach people like to fish off of but they like to fish around the rocks and then off the rocks at low tide. These rocks can be dangerous though, guys. You see all these oysters and this barnacle growth on them. I would not advise letting children play on them or crawl on them. Come off the beach. 